Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you my review of the V-Mic Link 5 from Ceramonic. Last time they sent me a microphone system that was a budget level system under 100 bucks that gave you great audio, but that one came with one transmitter and one receiver. Now we're looking at the V-Mic Link 5 that has three transmitters and one receiver all synced up together, ready to go. And not only that, they're promising no interference as it's running on the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. This is TK and I want to say thank you very much to Ceramonic for allowing me to check out the V-Mic Link 5. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see what comes inside. So I'm really excited that we have three transmitters and one receiver with lavalier systems. So this is going to be super great for events, shows, uh, especially when you even have more than one subject. It's hard to do it whenever you have just one microphone. So if you're looking to have multiple subjects and subjects that are walking around, this is going to be really good for your audio. L plus the fact that we're running at the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum, which means we should have less interference from other microphones that use the UHF and VHF. So they do mention to us here that there's two other setups. There's the two transmitters to one and there's the one to one. So this package includes three and uh, the general specifications here is we have both running on lithium ion batteries. So no more AAA batteries for any of these things. So that's been my plague for the last one. Uh, and the other thing I want to mention to you guys is we have three different channel presets that we can jump from each one. So as long as they're on the same channel, you're ready to go. Now, once we open up the box, we are greeted with a carrying case, which is really, really nice. Our user manual, Santa Monica International, warranty card and then we have a cover between the top and bottom to protect the microphone system and here we are uh, we have four batteries as i mentioned to you guys 7.2 volt at 1000 milliamps uh, that's going to be for each one of them so the receivers and the transmitter all use the same battery they do include a charger here that is micro usb powered so you can use the micro usb cable that they provide there and you'll be able to charge up your batteries uh, you are able obviously buy more batteries in case you do need to have spares on uh, on hand the main thing is we have this is the receiver and they're marked they all have receiver transmitter 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 uh, the receiver has a couple of things different obviously we have the uh, line out and the headphone jack to be able to monitor the audio and of course the two spots for the antennas on the right side we have a mute slash power button functionality and of course the clips for the microphone for the actual unit itself we have a, a back plate that we are able to use to mount on top of this so you can use it mount it at the back and then of course clip it in and you're in so that will affix this to the bottom of the actual unit you'll notice that there it's not movable anymore and then you can mount this directly either through a tripod mount or directly into to your cold shoe for your camera. Very simple and easy. Uh, opening the case is again very simple. Grabbing the battery, just match the prongs directly into the actual clip. If I'm not mistaken, it's gonna go this way. Put it in, slides in. There is a lock, so you don't have to worry about it sliding out so it doesn't come out. Close it up and you're ready to go. Now, press and holding the power button here will turn the device. We have a little LCD that gives us access to the information. ABC is flashing and the channel that we're on right now is channel one. Uh, we have a volume level that's set to 25 and then we have a headphone and a power level so it tells you how much power you have left now pushing the mute button will turn a little bit of a cross there you'll notice that just tells us that the microphone or the audio is basically turned off using the plus and minus changes between the different menu options and selecting what you want to do you could just press and hold on the set and that turns it on for you and then if you press it again once you get out of that menu you can change the power unlock option uh, mute key capability match with the transmitter and of course, uh, light delay and restore default that just resets everything. And then the firmware version on this device and the mine serial number. Transmitter has pretty much the same setup as the receiver with the exception of, you notice the output here is mic, line in, and then you have the antennas. We don't have a headphone jack. So there's the difference between the two. You'll know, obviously, other than the fact that they say if it's a transmitter or receiver. So at this point here, you connect the line in and then you have the mic in. So if you're trying to use external audio from something else, you can use it here. But the main thing is you want to connect your microphone here. Um, and of course, they both are pre-synced. So pressing and holding the power button, pressing and holding the power button. Both should be turned on and both should be on channel one. As I mentioned to you guys, here's the transmitting signal strength, the microphone volume level as we have it here on both. Now I can push the button. Now this one does also block the microphone. Here it blocks the output. Here it blocks the input very easy and it is referencing this port so just keep in mind it is referencing those two last but not least make sure we install the microphones and they are directional so you are able to position them to point them away in case you have an obstacle over there uh, of course or you can keep them straight depending on what your transmission or the range that you want to get into now they do include two different cables we have a male to male uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack uh, with one of them having the screw on option keep in mind the one that has a screw on option is the one that goes directly into the either transmitter or receiver so in this situation this would be the line out i put it in and i can just screw it in directly and that just ensures that no cables will get yanked 
um, it'll basically have a good fit on it. So it protects also the plug on that point on both sides. Very solid, very solid there. Now I'm going to be using the that cable, but they also do provide a uh, an XLR cable to three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So it's included if you need it and you need external audio recording. That's great. If you're going to be recording directly into the camera, the way I'm doing it, you're set as well. So far to this point, we've been using the UW Mic 9. We're going to switch over to the V Mic Link 5 and see how the audio compares. Went ahead and switched over to the V Mic Link 5 from the UW Mic 9 uh, microphone that I was using at the beginning of the video. You may also not have noticed is uh, I actually never turned off the U Mic the UW Mic 9. So the receivers are on top of each other, and if there is going to be any interference, this is pretty much where we get it. The transmitters are on as well, and transmitters sitting here right there at the table. So overall, 5.8 gigahertz, great audio. Uh, I've listened to this before. I know pretty much that it performs pretty well. Um, and I want to share that with you guys. I think it's an easy system to use. Uh, the three to one ratio, I think it's a really good combo. Flexible enough to that, let's say if you just have a, two subjects, you're great. And if you have to expand it to the last second, you're there and you're covered. Although they do have a two to one and a one to one system that you can use and expand over time. Um, I like the fact that it has lithium ion batteries with a carrying case that it uses the 5.8 gigahertz as it keeps things simple and you don't have to worry about interference. Overall, when you're going to a show, most people are going to be running on the UHF or the VHF spectrum. The 5.8 gigahertz is going to be less crowded, so better chance of you getting great audio. Um, the other thing I want to mention to you guys that may maybe things that I would like to see in the future is maybe include a smartphone camera uh, plug other than just a, you know, obviously we have the XLR and we have the regular DSLR, but a lot of people can use their smartphones with their, you know, 4K 60 frames per second. And that's something that we can consider. Um, also, going from the UW Mic 9 to the V Mic Link 5, we went from a metal thin antenna uh, design to a plastic, I mean, it's a reinforced plastic, to a plastic slightly thicker antenna. I would have liked the design to stay a little bit thinner and compact as we had it before. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is very small, very compact, very easy to use. It's just my comment because I've been using the UW Mic 9 for a while and I got used to having a metal frame. It, it just feels good to have that nice little heft to it. Uh, but other than that, it works really good and uh, it is very, very nice. Thank you to Ceramonic for allowing me to check out the U, sorry, the V Mic Link 5. Too many acronyms, too many little codes. Um, and I'm going to do another video for you guys shortly, uh, experiencing just showing basically the spectrum from entry level, mid range to high end microphone systems. Uh, and again, comparing the three and just showing you guys basically so you have an ability to compare three at the same time, where right now I'm only showing you guys the V Mic Link 5. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.